Nine months ago, I created a video where I showed off some of my favorite apps that weren't on the Play Store, and a lot of you really enjoyed it, so I decided to make a part two. Once again, all these apps are free to download, they don't have malware, and most importantly, aren't on the Play Store. If you'd like to watch this video or any of my other videos in Spanish, be sure to check out my second channel called How To Men In Español. Anyways, nowadays, most apps and system UIs have an option for a dark theme, but there are still a handful that don't support it. That's why I downloaded Dark with a Q, to force enable a dark theme on a per app basis and throughout the entire UI. Now the app itself does require Android 10 or above to work and it can be a bit tedious to set up, but luckily for you, I did make a tutorial on how to do that a while back. You can find that video in the top right corner. Once you're in, you simply toggle on enable dark theme, force dark theme, and if you have a OnePlus phone, toggle Oxygen OS for dark. If you like to theme unsupported apps as well, tap on enabled apps and then select the apps that you like to darken. I chose Amazon, Google Opinion Rewards, PayPal, and Starbucks, and they all got dark themed relatively well. Of course, it's not perfect and some apps are not even supported at all, such as Snapchat, Uber, DoorDash, or the Google Maps, but it still gets the job done. You can download it for free from XDA Labs, I'll link it down below, right below the like button. Now, one of the most annoying things about downloading apps from the web is not getting alerted when a new update comes out. APK Updater solves that issue by automatically analyzing all of your installed apps and then checking popular websites such as APK Mirror, Aptoid, and Fdroid to let you know if any app updates are available. If there are, you just simply tap on Install within the Updates panel. If the update comes from APK Mirror, it'll take you to the website to download and install the updated APK. Or if it's from Fdroid, it'll let you install the new update from within APK Updater. I honestly love using this app to update most of my Google apps since their updates always arrive way faster on APK Mirror instead of the Play Store. It works really well, doesn't have any ads, and it's completely free to download off GitHub. Speaking of the Play Store, maybe you're tired of Google knowing everything you download and use, so a great alternative is Aura Store. It's just like any other app marketplace letting you download and update apps. But the best part is that every app on here comes directly from Google servers, so you won't need to worry about any apps possibly having malware. Plus, Aura Store has a few extra features that the Play Store doesn't have. It lets you download any apps without a Google account. You can completely spoof your device model, language, and location. It can automatically install APK bundles without needing to use a split APK installer. An app's description page will let you know if the app contains ads or trackers, and the overall interface is modern and clean. The only downside is that you won't be able to purchase apps, but other than that, it's the best way to stay away from Google's ecosystem. Now, before I move on, I wanted to give a shout out to Zbrand for sponsoring this video. I've been saying it for a really long time. You can't go wrong with the skins they sell. They're top quality, have plenty of textures to choose from, support a ton of different devices, including things that aren't phones, and using a skin gives each device a bit more grip while also getting rid of those fingerprint smudges. My personal favorites are the pastel skins because no matter the color, they make the phone look a lot brighter and exciting. For those who prefer the extra protection, they also sell grip cases. Those are really amazing because they're really heavy duty, extremely grippy, and you can still slap a skin on the back of it to customize it. So if you like to make your phone or gadgets a bit more personal, go to dbrand.com slash howtomen. That's dbrand.com slash howtomen. An iOS feature that I'm jealous of is that you can double tap or even triple tap the back of the iPhone to open a task or an app or a shortcut, etc. Android phones don't have this feature, but you can download TapTap from XDA Labs to get it. When enabled, I can double tap the back of my phone to launch Google Assistant, double tap it again immediately after to launch another task, such as switching to my last used app, and I can even enable a triple tap action to launch something else. It works flawlessly and within TapTap, I can customize the actions, make certain restrictions such as turning off the taps when the screen is off, and even changing the sensitivity. Almost every social app, including Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, and YouTube have an alternative client, yet I haven't seen one for Instagram until now. Barinsta is that alternative and it has almost all the same Instagram features and a few more. You can see all of your friends' posts and stories, like photos, comment, bookmark, and share, reply and receive to your direct messages, Search for profiles and see yours as well, add multiple accounts, and find new posts within the Discover panel. On top of that, you get a few extra features that Instagram doesn't have, such as being able to download any post or story, batch download selected posts from your person's profile, you can view a person's story or read their DMs without letting them know that you read them, change the layout of your feed or profile to view more posts at once, 
and it has no more ads. The only thing you can't do is upload a picture, video, or story, which can be a big disadvantage, but if you never really post that much anyways, then this won't really bother you. It's just the perfect alternative for those who want to stay up to date with their friends or families, but also want a bit more privacy. Last but not least, if you have a mid-range or low-budget smartphone, chances are the camera quality is mediocre or just straight up bad. By downloading a Google Camera Port or Gcam app, there's a possibility of improving the overall picture quality since the Pixel camera has arguably the best camera software enhancements of any smartphone. I say possibility because with Gcam, that's not always the case. By installing a Gcam port on my OnePlus Nord, I noticed that it provided more accurate results when comparing the colors, shadows, and contrast. It even fixed the overexposure problem that I kept on having when using the regular Oxygen OS camera. I even compared the shots side by side with pictures taken on a Pixel 5 and the results were very similar. The only difference that I could see is that the colors were a bit more saturated on the OnePlus Nord, but that's about it. But as for the nighttime shots, the story changes with the regular OnePlus camera providing way better results than the Gcam app. As I said before, depending on what type of phone you have, results may vary. For example, when using Gcam on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, the colors weren't accurate at all. All the pictures just came out looking blue. And to top it off, the app didn't even support the ultra wide lens, unlike the OnePlus Nord version. However, nighttime shots came out looking way better with the Gcam app, so it's a hit or miss situation. Either way, I'll drop a link to a website with all the supported Gcam apps, because there's no one universal APK or a single configuration that works on all these phones. Every camera module is different. The website does provide instructions and a video tutorial on how to get it installed on your phone correctly, so it shouldn't be too bad. Either way, those are some of the best Android apps that you can install outside of the Play Store. Once again, if you'd like to discover more apps that aren't in the marketplace, make sure to watch last year's video. The link is in the eye in the top right corner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, it would mean the world to me if you could just drop a thumbs up. And if you love what you saw, why not also get subscribed with the notification bell turned on? I push out Android videos just like this every week. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out those spectacular dbrand skins to spice up the back of your phone. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!